Today, the Hip Hop MD is doing what he does best, talking about science, technology, engineering, mathematics, yes, STEM. I am working with a group called The Colors of STEM. They produce television content aimed at encouraging more minority involvement into the science and technology fields. The USA Engineering Technology Festival has put on this event called SciFest LA here at the Los Angeles Convention Center. We got so many kids in the building. We're talking science, technology, engineering, mathematics. We're gonna see some cool stuff today. You know what's awesome, awesome about technology is that by the time you guys are my age, technology is going to take over everything. I see uh, you guys got a soccer ball last year. Can you tell us a little bit about what you got going on here? Basically what we're testing here is your reaction time if you know the direction of the ball, where it's going or not. In the first test, we give it to them and we tell them we're kicking it to the right or the left and they have to cross through the gate mm -hmm. uh, as quick as they can. Then the next test is we're not going to tell you which direction we're going. And they got to guess, right? Yeah, yeah. So nice. the question that we ask them is which one is going to be faster when you know the direction of the ball or when you don't. Hip Hop MD, Hip Hop Science, I'm with my new friend Nate. How you doing today? Doing good, how are you? Awesome, awesome. Yeah. He's with the LA Metro and you know I ride LA Metro all the time. You know I'm all about sustainability and protecting the environment so you'll catch me on the train multiple times a day. Can you tell us a little bit about how LA Metro is incorporating science and technology? We have a newly integrated drone department okay. and we use drones to survey construction sites nice. and also to do uh, disaster recovery efforts if there's an earthquake or a flood or anything. What do you kind of see is the next step or what's on the horizon for as far as advancing uh, metro lines in LA? So we're expanding our rail lines as rapidly as we can in nice. preparation for the 2028 Olympics. Stats but also 2028 Olympics, we're, we're going to need some transportation right. for that for sure. Well, to the new stadium? To the new stadium, yeah. Yep. Okay. And we're opening the Crenshaw line that's going to take you to LAX. Yes. We're going to have the much needed as well. Purple line to the west side. Okay. And we're going to have the regional connector that's going to connect downtown uh, more efficiently. We're partnering with a company called Via to do uh, first and last mile where you can go on the app and get a cheap ride to our train station. It'll drop okay. you out at the station that'll take oh, you straight yeah. downtown. Oh, that's awesome. Now, this just may be a myth, but I've been hearing rumblings about a high-speed transit going from Los Angeles to Las Vegas. Is any of that true? I don't know. You know do you know I, and you I can't don't tell know. us? Or that's what it is. Okay. I got my friend Costas here. He's got a joke for me. Can you tell us your joke? If a giraffe ate a giraffe, what would that be called? If a giraffe ate a giraffe, what would that be called? I don't know. What would that be called? It's not possible. Giraffes don't eat meat. <laughs> That's a good one, that's a good one. Legos were my toy of choice when I was a kid. They taught me the building blocks of life. But now we got video games like Fortnite and League of Legends. But this toy company is what our children should really be investing in. If I had these games when I was this age, Lord knows what I'd be doing right now. Can you tell us about uh, MERST, what it is, and your guys' involvement with SciFest LA? Sure, so MERST Summit is for K-12 education. It's to bring content creators and educators together to create content for elementary, high school, and middle school students. Now, what technology do you guys incorporate to influence younger children into the science and tech fields? Anything that's immersive technology, so virtual Nice. All right. We'll make sure to make sure to attend that as well too. We make VR games that help you learn about some of the most amazing scientists in history, and you get to actually do games that you know help you understand their experiments and the scientific phenomenon they discovered. Okay. Awesome. Now, can you tell us a little bit about Ada Lovelace? Because this sounded very, very interesting to me. I want to hear about the first female programmer. Okay. So Ada Lovelace lived in the eight, early 1800s, and she worked with Charles Babbage, who's kind of considered the father of the computer. Okay. He basically invented what is basically a calculator and then set the stage for computers that we know today. Okay. And Ada worked with him and said, computers can be for more than just math. Mm -hmm. You can program them to do really advanced things yes. like even make music. Mm -hmm. So in our game, you're able to kind of program your own music oh, wow. uh, using music. our game. Yeah. 
for science, baby. It's unfortunate that there's so many people that contribute so much to science, especially with women, right, that we don't talk about. So having somebody like Ada Lovelace and being right here front and center for all these kids to realize that women have actually been empowering themselves yes. in the science and technology fields for way beyond <laughs> that we even thought about is pretty amazing. Our VR programs are featured in museums. Uh, we're sure. also looking and working with schools and eventually our games are going to be available on Steam and maybe in the Oculus Store. So oh, nice. Okay. We're going to keep our eyes open for that. All right, Science VR, baby. Finding cool stuff, integrating augmented reality and virtual reality into science. How are you guys liking the event today? Uh, great. 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 Yeah. What's the coolest thing you guys have seen so far? Uh, I like the basketball hoop. Hoop. The liquid nitrogen the basketball popcorn. Hoop? The liquid nitrogen popcorn. Yeah. Did it taste good? Yeah, it tastes really good. That's awesome. Really Do you know how they make it? Uh, no, I know it's that liquid nitrogen. <laughs> you need liquid nitrogen. You probably don't have that at home, right? No. Are you guys interested in joining the science, technology, engineering, mathematics fields? Yeah. 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 What area do you want to do? Engineering. Engineering? What type of engineer? Uh, robots. Robots, my man. I saw robots and we got to control them and make them do different things, like pick up objects and shoot balls at people. Somebody said they saw a sports science episode with Lonzo Ball. Who was that? That was Paul. That was Paul. Can you tell us about that sports science episode and what was cool about it? Uh, they were talking about how fast Lonzo Ball can make a pass. Uh -huh. So they demonstrated it through a moving car. Through a moving car. Yeah, he passed through a moving car. And he passed the ball car. through a moving car, right? Yeah, the car what did we learn about that? We learned about like a little bit of velocity elements, yeah, right? And, and how, trajectory. How, yeah, and how much strength you need and how many, how much seconds mm -hmm. he can make it through a window. We were learning about momentum. I'm gonna be a veterinarian, a medical veterinarian, and help animals get back when they're, if they're paralyzed or hurt. I want to be an engineer when I grow up. What type of engineer do you want to be? My background is in civil engineering. I did civil engineering. Do you guys know what civil engineers do? Buildings and stuff. We do buildings, yes. We do buildings, large infrastructure. We do railroads. Basically, civil is anything that helps people, right? Gravity is awesome. Energy is all around us. Science is everywhere. We are science. We are science. <laughs> I remember when I was in elementary school, I was in camp making wood chips. I could have been here learning about augmented reality, talking to engineers at NASA, learning about robotics. I'm hating. All right, it is an official wrap here at SciFest SoCal. This event was so amazing. It was so dope seeing the youth's interest into the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics fields. Technology is the wave of the future, and it is critically important that our youth, and especially our minority youth, learn about these fields because they're the ones that are going to lead us there. I'm the Hip Hop MD. This is Hip Hop Science. I wonder what other science topics we could explore.